morning, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Uh, I would probably need 20 minutes to give you a, a rundown of, of vanadium. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be here for two days, so please stop by, and I can explain all of my knowledge about vanadium, the vanadium market, and all the fundamentals of supply and demand that are driving this metal to be uh, the best performing metal in 2017 and 18. So my name is Paul Cowley, President and CEO of uh, First Vanadium. It was formerly Cornerstone Metals, which is focused on our Carlin Vanadium project, uh, the largest and highest grade primary vanadium deposit in all of North America. And this is located, very interestingly enough, in the Carlin Gold Trend of, of Nevada with all that infrastructure and great location. And um, Going to have to talk a little bit about vanadium just to give you a little bit of a, a starter, but vanadium is a, a me, a, an alloy that strengthens steel, uh, and it's also an ideal metal for batteries for storing large amounts of electricity. I want to just uh, keep it very simple on that and come to my booth to give, you, give us more, but it's, it has been a, a very, very strong cycle of vanadium over the last three years of its metal price increase. Um, and in the last four months, there's been some aberrations where there was just too much of an acceleration in the metal price in, in September, October, and obviously a natural pullback in price, um, which obviously spooks some people about vanadium that don't know it, but you're starting to get some clear signs of, the st uh, of a stabilizing metal price of vanadium. And I believe that all those uh, fundamentals of strong demand and uh, short supply will still be in effect. It's still, they're, they're still there. So I believe that the metal price uh, will still stay at a very, very high price for a number of years. I want to introduce our company now because it's such a short time frame, but this is a, a, a starting point. Um, we have a very strong uh, share price, uh, a share uh, structure and financial picture. We, we're uh, uh, about 39 million shares out. Uh, we're trading at about 80 cents now. Um, market cap is about 35 million. We've got uh, $2 million in, in cash and we've got um, warrants that are all in the money at 24 and 45 cents that can bring us another $2.6 million. So we're in very, very good financial uh, position. And this is showing the great uh, performance that we had in 2018 since we picked up this property. You can see a, a great acceleration in, in our share price through most of the year, um, principally driven by delivering uh, technical milestones on this project because it was an unknown or it was a, a historic resource. We picked it up and started doing drilling, metallurgy, and, and delivering um, good milestones to the, uh, to the marketplace. You see at the end of, uh, of the year, a slide. I believe it's, it's principally because of, um, there was some profit taking naturally from uh, some shareholders. It certainly wasn't the insiders. And then uh, uh, November, December was abysmal for everyone. We got caught up in that sell-off fear uh, in the marketplace. So that's basically where we've down. You can see that we've started to bottom out and, and stabilize. It was also over a period when the vanadium price was starting to to come off, but again, we're seeing stability, and we see value uh, going forward in this next year, 2019, with a number of things that we're going to be presenting. And it's all underpinned by great value, uh, great fundamentals of this company, um, principally great people, great project, uh, great share structure, and good timing being in this vanadium. We're still in this a very, very positive vanadium cycle. I've, alluded to most of these points, but I just point out about the company. It's, it's um, run by professional geologists and engineers who have been successful with, with major mining companies in the past. Um, there's, in the board of directors and, and advisors and consultants, we have over 400 years of an industry experience under our belt. So the, we know what we're doing. We've done it before with major companies, and we see a lot of, it, a lot of benefit uh, in applying our, our skill sets to this particular project. The location, it's hard to beat this location. We're right in the Carlin Gold Trend. Um, halfway between Salt Lake City and, and Elko. We're six miles south by road 
of the town of Carlin, which is a mining, mining district and a uh, mining town. Carlin has, uh, is a major rail hub that goes to both coasts. So it's the, um, there's power within five miles. The nearby communities and mining communities just gives you so much advantage in speeding up projects, your efficiencies, cost savings. Um, it's just very, and then being in this jurisdiction that permits um, uh, uh, projects to mines. So this is a, a very, very successful uh, region. You, you couple the location and infrastructure with the technical merits of the project, and it's, it's, this is a, a very, very interesting project. So this is a deposit that was discovered in the 60s. It was drilled off by Union Carbide. Um, they couldn't do, uh, in, in those days, the, the metal price and the, and, the, and the metallurgy of the day wasn't, wasn't uh, uh, economic for them, but um, uh, things have changed over the last, last 50 years. So we continued to drill it, so it's, it's systematically drilled. It's a large deposit still open uh, to expand. Great benefit is that it's relatively flat uh, uh, dipping, shallow to flat and, and near surface. Uh, so that the stripping ratio is, we're estimating, under two and a half to one. And it's in soft rock, uh, so the, the mining, blasting, uh, crushing, grinding costs are, we think are gonna be very low. And we've got very, very high vanadium uh, grades. So we've got thick intercepts that uh, range from half a percent uh, V205 to, to up, up to one and a half percent. That may not be any meaningful to you, but I'm gonna give you some context in a second. And we've also done preliminary uh, metallurgy that's showing good signs of between 80 and 95% vanadium extraction out of the rock. It's basically a, a, sh a black shale hosted deposit. It's a, it's a bed of a black shale that's got concentrated vanadium. So it's layer cake geology, quite simple. Um, it's, it's large uh, area, it, uh, the deposit, that, that thick zone is about 35 meters thick, about two kilometers uh, long in the north-south north direction, but about three quarters of a kilometer wide in the east-west direction and shallow dipping. This historic resource was based, uh, was compliant in 2010, done by SRK using the old uh, Union Carbide data. Um, so 20 million tons of, of, of 0.2 or 0.52 won't mean anything to you, but if people here are, are, are gold or copper buffs, that 0.5 is equivalent of a five gram gold deposit or a three and a half percent copper deposit at that size. So this is a very, very significant deposit. We've done two drill programs that have uh, verified the, the historic work and expanded. I'm gonna give you just a brief on that in a second. Um, and uh, we'll be looking to do a, a resource calculation uh, next month with all this drill information. This is a look at the deposit uh, on, the, on the right. This is the two kilometer stretch of it. And the drilling that Union Carbide done in, in green, ours, our spring program in red, just highlighting the density of drilling. And in the table, just simply uh, doing a, a cross section in the southern part, showing the high grades that you're getting. This, this, average, this section average is 0.9% V205, which would be the equivalent of about eight grams of gold. Um, you can see that the near surface and thick, grade, thick uh, intercepts very consistent along that, that stretch. And then uh, we did a, a summer program of 69 holes that continued. Half of those holes were infill, the other half were expansion, uh, or uh, mineralization expansion or extension. You can see the air, this is a, a press release we put out just, uh, just yesterday on, on the final results. The areas in red are really the areas that we've pushed out the mineralization, so we're very successful in the infill to verify the grades, but also expanding the, um, the mineralization. So now the, the deposit has 216 holes into it. Um, and these are some of the highlights of those uh, intercepts. 73 meters from surface at 0.6 is the equivalent of 5.7 grams of gold. And the 48 meters at 1% is the equivalent of 9.7 grams of gold starting from surface. Just briefly about our, our team, I mentioned that we're uh, professional engineers and geologists. This is our board and, and some of our advisors. We've got, uh, I'm, a, I'm a professional uh, geologist, I've discovered gold deposits up in the Canadian Arctic of six million ounces of gold. 
We've got two mining engineers that, that uh, are op operating engineers that have been general managers of major mines for major companies. We've got two metallurgists that you were showing here. There's another, and we have another uh, three metallurgists that are that are part of the group, um, and a construction engineer and some and business people. So we've, as I mentioned, 400 years of experience of industry experience. Uh, and finally, just a little bit about the timeline. The first uh, four four bubbles are showing. Uh, what we did in the first year, we did two raises, all oversubscribed. Uh, we raised uh, about $4 million. We still have $2 million of that left after two drill programs. That's really cost effective. And, and uh, the metallurgy is an ongoing thing that we're, that we're working through. And um, you're seeing in the last two bubbles where we're headed. This quarter we'll put out a news, the, the resource uh, report, and we're looking to move the project to an economic study, a, a pre-feasibility uh, for this year, 2019. So we're moving very aggressively, adding value um, to a very significant deposit. Thank you very much.